Tonight, the Pueblo County Democratic Party chair is apologizing for using campaign signs for target practice. A photo posted on social media shows her grinning with a bullet-riddled campaign sign of former Republican State Senate candidate Steve Varela. Varela was her husband's political rival last year. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live in studio to show us a new picture that is now making the rounds of the Steel City. Sean. Yeah, Burn Heather with an AR-15 in one arm and a Republican candidate's campaign sign in the other. Pueblo Democrat Chair Brie Buentello tells 13 Investigates posting this picture on social media was a mistake. It's a move that the candidate who ran against her husband last year is equating to inciting political violence. If I were to do that, what would have happened to me? There would have been calls for my resignation. Stephen Varela ran in what he describes as a contentious race for the Senate seat in Pueblo's District 3 in 2022. He ran against Senator Nick Hendrickson, who is married to Pueblo Democrat Chair Bri Buenteo. For her to specifically pick mine, pose with the AR-15, hold the yard sign with the bullseye, it just didn't make sense. Varela is now a member of Colorado's Board of Education, and he was not happy when this picture showing his bullet-ridden campaign sign being used for target practice popped up on social media. You never think when you're running for office that in a small community like this and when you're involved in education that you're you're going to see this type of violence incited against you. When Tail tells 13 Investigates she took her kids out shooting last weekend and used recycled yard signs to shoot at, she says she realized her mistake early on and reached out to Varela to apologize. Varela says he has not filed a police report, but District Attorney Jeff Chosner tells 13 Investigates defacing campaign signs like this is not a crime in Colorado, but says a charge of destruction of personal property would be more applicable. This is more than just running for a raise. You know, this some some folks, th this is pretty scary. In Buenteo's apology to Varela, she stated she did not mean for it to be a personal attack and admitted it lacked professionalism. But nevertheless, Varela says this damage has already been done. Reporting live in the studio, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Sean, thank you.